everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the crunch stitch, which is the pattern that you see here in front of you. It is a very dense pattern and uh, it works up fairly slowly. So if you're looking for a project or stitch that works up quickly, this might not be uh, the one for you. It, uh, it doesn't use up a whole lot of yarn and yet it creates this nice solid fabric which is the same on both sides. So uh, today for my tutorial I'm going to be using the Karen Times Pantone yarn by Yarnspirations as well as a 6mm crochet hook. So grab your hook and your yarn and let's get started. We'll learn how to crochet the crunch stitch together. So our stitch today is uh, worked in rows so we're going to be working back and forth and uh, before I begin I'd just like to thank you so much for joining me and I'd like to invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel which is updated weekly. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to start by making your slip knot and you're going to make a foundation chain. Your foundation chain needs to be any odd number of stitches so you're going to do a multiple of two stitches, but then you're going to add one for your foundation chain. So today I'm going to start by crocheting 21 chains. There's 10. Eighteen, nineteen, twenty, and then one more for my foundation chain. For row one, you're going to skip the first two chains from your hook. So there's one and two, and you're going to start by working a slip stitch into the next chain. So into that third chain from your hook, insert your hook, yarn over, and pull through both loops. There's your first slip stitch. In the next stitch, you're going to work a half double crochet. Yarn over, insert your hook into the next chain, yarn over, drop a loop, yarn over and pull through all three loops. That's your half double crochet. You're then going to repeat that all the way across. Slip stitch into the next stitch, followed by a half double crochet into the next, and repeat. Slip stitch, half double crochet. You're going to continue that all the way across your foundation chain and you're going to end with a slip stitch in that final chain. I'm now working my final slip stitch in the last chain. At the end of your row one, you're going to chain two and turn your work. For row two, you're going to skip that first stitch because it counts as a half double crochet stitch, your chain two. And then you're going to work a slip stitch into the top of the next stitch, which is a half double. So, uh, so skip that first one into that next stitch, work one slip stitch. Half double crochet into the next and slip stitch into the next. You're going to repeat that all the way across. And when you come to the end of your row, you're going to finish by working a slip stitch into the top of that turning chain, your chain two. Almost to the end here. So my half double crochet into the slip stitch and then I have my turning chain where I work my final slip stitch into the top of that turning chain. You're then going to chain two, turn your work, and now for the rest of this pattern, you're simply going to repeat that row two. So skip the first stitch, slip stitch into the next, 
followed by your half double crochet. Repeat that all the way across, working a slip stitch into that starting chain two. And that's all that there is to working this crunch stitch. And you can see the pattern coming out there. So thank you so much once again for joining me and uh, be sure to subscribe. And until next time, happy crocheting. Bye.